In this video I'll go through the steps to add a toe kick recess at the end of a base cabinet, like the one on the right, and save it to your library for future use. I'll do this starting with a standard single drawer base cabinet. Let's get started. I'll select this single drawer base cabinet and edit it to get started. First thing, go to the shape tab, click on the right side, click adjust side, and this bottom edge adjustment. I'm going to click on the formula editor and type minus parentheses toe h close parentheses. Make sure to get this minus in the front and we can hit test, make sure we're good. Hit OK, OK again. And then we'll see this jumped up, but we have this little notch here in the front for the toe kick yet. To fix that, click on ends and uncheck notch front toe on the right end. Hit OK, takes care of that. Next, we'll go to the parts tab to adjust this front toe kick piece. In the parts tab, Find the front toe piece. Click edit. And on the length, we're going to type in part L minus side toe R. And test that it OK. And now, if that didn't change much, as you'll see there, that's not as much as this. It's likely the side toe parameter is not set correctly. Go to the parameters tab, select product parameters, go to the toe category, and select this side toe R. You'll see it's set to one half inch there. The front toe recess is set to three and a quarter. So we want to make these the same. We'll highlight that, click OK, bring it in here, and set that to three and a quarter. And now this adjusted over. Next, we'll add this side toe piece that go from here to the back. To do that, we'll come to the Parts tab, click Add, and I'm going to name this side toe. You can check high detail here if you want. And we'll set the width. The width will be toe H plus BR minus bottom interior scribe plus bottom thickness. Make sure to type it the way it's spelled out in the message on the screen. And also include the parentheses the way they are on the screen. Next we'll set the length. Length will be D minus toe R. No parentheses in this one. Next we'll set the type to toe. Confirm your material is set correct. And then we'll adjust the location. X position will be W minus side toe R plus part TH. With the side toe R and part TH in parentheses. You see that moved it over to the right. Now we gotta adjust the rotation. First will be 90 about X. Just leave the X. Second will also be 90. And we'll change it to Z. Now it's rotated the right way. Just gotta move it back some more. We'll go to adjust the Y front to back position. Set that to toe R. And for the last step, we'll set the layer to change from face to toe. And hit OK. So now we've got our side toe piece in here, but you'll notice there's a few issues. you only see this if you have your back, unfinished back set to full height on your base cabinets. 
or if you have uh, your tail kick dado set to anything more than zero, like on this end. So for the sake of keeping this video short, I'm not going to go into detail on how to fix that the correct way. I'll just uh, show the quick fix to it. And if you're not using the uh, base full height or the toe dado, then you won't have these problems in the first place. So we'll go to parameters. I'm going to select a back bottom joint base cabinet. Okay, and also select full height plant on back base now if you have if I just turn this to no you'll see that went up it's just a plant on back there but it's ending at the bottom and your toe kick piece will be fine there uh, if you have this set to case depth that also works see that goes all the way back to the wall now for the toe kick dado go to the toe category and select toe dado here and set that to zero and that will fix it on the other end and this will work you can just save this one cabinet with the toe dado set to zero in your library even if your others do have a toe dado if you want a dado in that, and if your back comes all the way down, you want to have a notch here, leave, leave a comment and I will make another video that will go more into detail on how to do these things. So this is what the cabinet that I have saved in my library looks like. It has the notch or the cutout tool to keep the corner square uh, two holes there and the uh, toe dado added to this like I said if you want to learn how to do this leave a comment and I will make another video going more into detail with this so now let's save the cabinet that we made here to our library so we can use it later on Click Save Changes, then Save to Library, and select Add New Product, or New Library Product. We'll name this Base Toe R Demo. And click OK. And this message means it's adding the product to the bottom of the library. We click OK and you'll see that it's down at the very bottom there you can adjust that up in the product library and put it wherever you want all right that should be it